Hi everyone, and welcome to our seventh video in our Xcode 7 iOS 9 Swift series. In this video, we're going to learn how to make a to-do list app, as I said in the Sigabart video. And, um, it's like a note-taking app, and you get it's, you can delete the to -do, one piece of the to-do list when you're done with it. So guys, let's first open up Xcode and create a new Xcode project. This time it's not going to be a single view application, but it's going to be a tabbed application. We're going to call it um, to do do list. Oh. And I'm just going to save mine on the desktop. We're going to go to main desk storyboard and a tab, you, a tab um, project is like this. If you press first, it will take you to this view controller. If you press this, it will take you to this view controller. So if you press this, this view controller will actually be this one. If you press this, it will th it will be this one. We're going to delete everything on each of the view controllers. And I'm just going to show you what it looks like in the simulator. let it load and so this is the first view controller this is the second view controller for a second and on the first one we are going to drag on a table view which you've probably never seen before and um what table view is it it's it's what we're going to use in the to do list um, app just make it fit the whole screen And we're going to change the number of prototype cells to 1. We're also going to drag on a navigation bar, which we will put at the very top. And we will select the table view. And we will just drag it down so that it matches the t title. And this will be to do list. And um, this table view, we're going to select the cell, and the review identifier will be cell. On the second view controller, we're going to put on a text view, text field, and we are going to just make it nice and big, nice and wide. Just nice and wide because you can't really... Um, change the length of of one of these text fields. You can change the width, but you can't change the length in terms of this. This. Now we are going to drag on a label right here. This will just serve as a description for the what you're going to put in for the text field. It's going to say add a new to do. And then we're going to have a button that says add. And we're going to select the table view. Go into the connection inspector. The data source will be first. And the del delegate will also be first. Now let's go to first view controller.swift. And we're going to create a to do list array which you probably have never seen before and to clear array you um set it as brackets and we're gonna or it's gonna be an array of strings and then um parentheses so that's just gonna be an empty array of strings now let's go we're gonna create an outlet for the um table view it's gonna be a table view And then we are going to go to 
the D-Day load, we're going to create an if statement that says if ns user defaults dot standard user defaults dot object for key and the key will be we're going to just set it as to do list or just list if you want it to be like that and if it's not equal to if it's not equal to nil <coughs> sorry then we are going to say to do list equals ns user defaults dot standard user defaults dot object for key and we are also going to say list as bracket string what this is doing is if this NRUS user defaults is not equal to nil, then we are going to set the to do list array to be this. Now we are going to, um, we're going to create all the UI table view functions. And to do that, we're going to command click UI table view. And we're going to go down to the um, data source. We're going to um, say number of rows and section. And let's go back to first view controller. And we're going to paste it right here. And here we're just going to return to do list dot count. That's how many elements in to do list, as you if you see the description. Number of elements in the, the array stores. Let's go back to the UI table view and let's go down. And here we are going to select this one, the cell for row at index path. Go back and paste it right here. We're going to create a variable called cell, and we're going to set it equal to UI table view cell. Parentheses and we're going to go down. We're going to put in the parentheses style. And review identifier. Style will be dot default. And the review identifier will be the one we set in the storyboard, which will be cell. And then we're going to say cell dot text label dot text equals to do list index path dot row and then we're gonna return cell now we're going to go back to UI table view and we're going to search for the um, commit editing style which is right here copy it Go back and we are going to paste it right here and we're going to say if editing style equals edit UI table view cell editing style dot delete then we are going to say to do list dot remove at index and the index will be index path dot row and then we're going to say ns user defaults dot standard user defaults dot set object. And we're going to say to do list for key. And if you remember, it's going to be list. And then table view dot reload data. Let's go down and um after this, it's going to we're done with this file so we're going to say view did appear and we're going to say to list or table view dot reload data so every time you go back to this view it's going to reload the da data now let's go to the second view controller dot swift and then here we are going to um create a variable an IB outlet 
for the item for the text field. And um, we're going to create an IV action it's called add cat item. And if you remember, it's going to be sender any object. And then we're going to cr also create a to do list. list array and we're going to set it equal to an empty array of strings and in here we're going to say to do list dot append text field dot text and then item or text field dot text equals nothing and we also have to put an exclamation mark right there. And then NS user default standard user default set object to do list for key. And we're gonna say list. And then um we are going to create the delegate for the text field and in view load we're going to say self dot text field text field dot text or dot delegate equals self and same here we're going to declare the UI table table view View delegate, and here we're also going to say self dot table view dot delegate equals self. And now we also have to add a few more things in second view controller dot swift. We are going to go down and we're going to declare that touches began and we're going to say self dot view dot end editing and true and then we're going to create a function called text field should return and here we are going to return I, we're going to say item or text field, I mean, dot end edit dot resign first responder and then return true. And then let's go back to main that storyboard to link everything up. Here we are going to select the table view, go to new referencing outlet, and we're going to select table view. Now let's go down and we're going to set to the outlet for the text field and we are going to set the action for add item. Now let's run. Um, okay, if this is not going to work, we're going to do this. And then um, should work. Let's go to second, and we are going to say that add go to first, and we see that it appears. We also have to add constraints, and then I'll show you how to delete. Let's select first, add baking constraints, second. Add missing constraints and then run. It's still there. So you can press swipe to the right. That's the um, editing style dot delete. And then if you press delete, 
it will delete it. And if we go back, we can add something else to add, and then you can delete it when you're done with it. So this is another success. In the next video, we are going to make a quiz app that will, so you can like quiz your friends on like math questions or something. And you can you can ask you we're gonna you can set the own, your own questions in the code. So guys, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you see it in my next video, which is a um quiz. Bye bye.